Und wieder hallo bei GoGo Nippon. Und wir setzen uns einfach mal fort, weil ich weiß nicht, wie viele Folgen es sein werden. Ich weiß nur, letztes Mal hatten wir zwölf Folgen. 2015 in der Version hat natürlich ein bisschen mehr, wie das Festival und so. Könnte mehr werden. Ich bin gespannt. <lacht> Auch wenn wir diese Stelle, also das letzte, diese Reise, die hatten wir ungefähr so eine Folge früher im alten Let's Play. Wollte ich nur gesagt haben, weil ich es gerade eben nachgeschaut habe. Also nicht gerade eben vor ein paar Tagen. Gestern. <lacht> ja, das kommt gut. Jo. In the end, Akira fell asleep and I still don't know exactly what she was talking about. And when she woke up. Tadaima! Tadaima! Huh, I'm beat. She was back to her usual self. Even if you're only gone for one night, coming back from a trip really makes you appreciate home. Das stimmt wirklich. Ah, I know how you feel. Really? Maybe that's just a common human trait that people all over the world experience. But it's gone by so quickly, hasn't it? Huh? From the time you came here until today, it's gone by in the blink of an eye. Ja, yeah, die Zeit geht sehr schnell vorbei. Das muss ich auch immer wieder feststellen. Ja, yeah, egal. Yeah. Uh, and now you have to go home in two days. <sighs> All right. Oh. You'll be heading out early then, won't you? Oh yeah, I'll have to leave pretty early in the morning, I think. Oh, then tomorrow will be your last day for sightseeing. I guess so. Is there anything you'd like to see tomorrow? Ah, uh, no. I have to think about it. I see you all. It's the last chance for sightseeing, so you should really make the most of it. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's right. Like Makoto said, tomorrow will be my last day to look around the city. Where should I go tomorrow? Oh. What I should be asking myself isn't where I want to go. It's who I go with. For my last day of sightseeing, I want to go with... Hey, are you awake? Okay, wahrscheinlich haben wir jetzt noch das Akira-Ending. Denn das hatten wir letztes Mal auch, okay? Es stört mich nicht, denn ich finde Akira cool und alles, aber... Kein anderes Ende, aber finde ich auch schön. Hey, are you awake? Huh? It's Akira. Could I come in? Ak Akira? Uh, yeah, come in. Sorry, I know you're probably tired. Oh, it's okay, no problem. I couldn't sleep anyway. I see. Ah, Akira, what could she want at this time of night? Uh, hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. Sure, sure. Have you decided, like, where you want to go tomorrow? Not yet. Okay, then. Do, 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 you, do you want to go to Yokohama with me? Go with you? Yeah, to Yokohama. How about it? Um, bisschen blöd ist natürlich, dass wir außer dem Festival nichts mit Makoto diesmal gemacht haben. Aber ich weiß ja nicht, welche Orte. Ich habe die einfach nur rausgesucht und da war immer Akira. Uh, you don't have to. If you don't want to, I don't mind. No, no, not at all. I want to go. I totally want to. Really? Then... Okay, Yokohama. Tomorrow. Okay. I've been wanting to see Yokohama. I see. That's good. Yeah. Um, so anyway, see you tomorrow. Got it. Yokohama, huh? This should be fun. Yeah, anyway. Good night. Good night. Oh. Hmm. Whew. I know I said I wanted to go, but I honestly don't know the first thing about Yokohama. But I don't mind going at all. Because it's less about where I want to go than who I go there with. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is my last day to take a trip with Akira. I hope it will be a good day. Ja. Das werden wir sehen, denn es ist unser letzter Sightseeing-Tag, Tag 6. Die Woche ist bald zu Ende. Am nächsten Tag fliegen wir zurück nach Hause in irgendunser rückschrittliches Land, das Dinge hatte, die elementar überall sind in solchen Ländern. Aber anscheinend für ihn besonders nie. Aber hey, yeah, great, the weather again today. This is my last day to look around Japan. Akira said she'd take me out to Yokohama. Okay, let's make my last day here the best. Oh yeah, da auf bin ich. Da auf bin. So, are you ready to head out? Ah yeah, sure thing. Okay, then let's start. Um. <sighs> A 
Akira? You look really sleepy. Are you okay? Ah, sorry, I'm fine, don't worry about me. Huh? But you really don't look well. Do you think you might be coming down with something? If it's too much trouble, you don't have to come with me today. Mm. You're saying you don't want to go with me? That's not it. That's not what I was I'm saying at all. It's just that if you're sick, I don't want... And that's what why I said I'm fine and not to worry about it, right? That's true, but... Anyway, let's get going. We want as much time as possible to look around, right? Uh, yeah. I know she said she's fine, but I wonder if that's true. This past week she's gone out with me so often, done so much, and she just got back from Kyoto. I wonder if all this trainer's activity caught up to, up, 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 up to her. McDonald's. By the way, how much do you know about Yokohama? Mm, uh, not very much, really. Not much? Well, to tell you the truth, until you asked me yesterday, you could say I didn't know anything about it at all. Huh, I see. <laughs> Sorry, got my... You don't have to apologize. But it's like I lied to you. I told you not to worry about it. It just means that all of my hard work won't go to waste. Huh? I had nothing. Just talking to myself. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of which, you don't know where Yokohama is, do you? Uh, no, embarrassingly enough. It's next to Tokyo. It's a harbor town in Kanagawa Prefecture. Ah, so it's not in Tokyo. I guess it must be pretty far. Nothing to worry about. It may be one prefecture over, but you can still get there directly from a large station like Tokyo or Ikebukuro. And it doesn't take long at all. It can't be more than 30 minutes from either station. I see. I guess it would take longer to go somewhere within Tokyo proper than requires switching trains, huh? That's right. Anyway, I save the detailed descriptions of Yokohama for after we get there. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Und 86, das ist sogar, glaube ich, ziemlich billig für die Strecke, weiß ich nicht. Okay, well, here we are. This is Yokohama? Yes, this is one of Yokohama's most famous tourist spots, Harbor View Park. Harbor View Park. Look, you can see the whole city from here. Uh, hmm? I wonder if you can see the Minato Mirai 21 from here. Minato Mirai? Um, it's an amusement park. It has Japan's tallest building, the Landmark Tower, and a big ferris wheel called Yokohama Cosmo World. Anyway, it's kind of like the heart of Yokohama. That's strange. We should be able to see Yokohama Harbor. Ah, isn't that the harbor over there? Huh? See, there are boats docking. Ah, you're right. That means the harbor that the park overlooks. Jeez, it has such an annoying name. Akira? Uh, um, that's right, I haven't told you about Yokohama yet. Okay, this place, Yokohama, was an itty bitty fishing village 150 years ago. Small? This place? Yeah, it was so small, there were less than 100 houses here. 100 houses? How did it become such a large, large, large city so fast? Well, because American ships came. Die Amerikaner schon wieder. Uh, die machen alles groß. Uh, American. Until then, Japan was in a period called the Sakoku, in which trade with most countries was forbidden. Oh, okay, this was. Oh. But in 18, um, uh, yeah, 1863, an American named Admiral Perry came to Japan to open our borders. The Sakoku came to an end, and Yokohama was chosen as the vanguard of trade with other countries. In other words, it was a window to foreign trade? That's right. Afterward, Yokohama went from a sleepy fishing village into a town filled with cutting-edge foreign culture overnight. And within the span of a mere 150 years, it became the huge city you see today. Whoa. You could say that Japan's modernization began right here in Yokohama. When Yokohama became a foreign trade port, this whole area was designed to cater to foreigners. So they built a lot of western style buildings in this area and it became a big tourist spot. Western style, huh? Yeah, anyway, as long as we're here, do you want to look around? Yeah, I think so. Natürlich wollen wir uns umschauen. Um, this area is called the Yamate Chiku in Japanese. In English, I think you call it 
Yamate Burahu? Burahu? Ah, I bet she means bluff. And because people from consulates of European countries like England and France lived here, it became an upper class residential district. Mm hmm. Yeah. See? Do you see all the adorable houses? Yeah, I do. It really is strange having all these European style houses in the middle of a Japanese town. But from our standpoint, I guess it doesn't seem that strange at all. Right now, I'm more worried about. <sighs> our sickly Akira has been looking since this morning. She looked exhausted the whole time we were on the train. Hey Akira, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do you ask? It's just you look completely exhausted. Uh, hey, if you're really tired, you don't have to force yourself. I told you, I'm fine. I'm not tired at all. I hope not, but anyway, let's get going to the next destination. Sure. Anyway, I'll have to just keep my eye on her. Okay, no. Yeah. Uh, this is, <laughs> and here we are. This is Oda. Chinatown. <laughs> Chinatown in Japan. In, in Japan. Uh, J J Japan. Japan. Ugh. Egal. Ich weiß gerade alles durch. Uh, here we are. This is Chinatown. Right. <sighs> oh, der hat es gewusst. Okay. <laughs> das waren die Special Effekte für diese Folge. Wow, that's amazing, you got it right off the bat. I think it would be obvious for anyone looking at it. The Yokohama Chinatown is said to be the biggest one in Japan, alongside the ones in Nagasaki and Kobe. It does seem pretty big for a Chinatown. Right? I heard that this area was originally a settlement for Europeans who came to trade here. I see so, how did it end up as Chinatown? <laughs> so you have been listening. Because when Japan opened her doors, there weren't many people who spoke foreign languages. So the Europeans would bring Chinese people with them, since they could communicate with the Japanese in writing. They say the area where those Chinese people lived became the basics for this Chinatown, but back in those days the Europeans still outnumbered the Chinese in the area. Wow. All that changed in 19, 1920, 1923, I think? There was a terrifying earthquake called the Great Kanto Earthquake. Over 100,000 people died. It's regarded as the greatest disaster in Japanese history. 100,000. There must have been a lot of damage. There was. The damage was so bad people were even thinking of moving the capital to somewhere else. If that happened, Tokyo wouldn't have become the city it is to do. Anyway, the Great Kanto earthquake caused a lot of foreigners in this area to move back to their home countries. And the ones who inherited it were the Chinese. In the years that followed, the region developed into the big Chinatown we see today. I see. Nia, yeah. hey, do you know Sunbun? Sunbun? I think you call him Su, Su Yatsen in English. Oh, Su Yatsen, we studied him in my history class. He was a Chinese revolutionary, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, a revolutionary. They say that after he was exiled, he spent his time here and continued his work. Wow, I didn't know that. Anyway, one of the highlights of Yokohama Chinatown is the Kantai Biyu. Kantai? Yeah, it's a Biyu venerating one of China's most famous military generals. Biyu? A Biyu is where you worship ancestors or other great people. I think you call it a mausoleum in English? Ah, you mean a mausoleum. So basically, Kante was the name of a really strong general who lived in China, around 200 AD. He had a really long beard and he's renowned for his sense of duty, not just in China, but in Japan as well. Have you ever read the Sengoku Shi? Hmm. I think it's translated in English under the title The Romance of Three Kingdoms. Habe ich, bis dieses Jahr habe ich, das, äh, letztes Jahr, <laughs> in, Ende 2015, habe ich von dieser von diesem der drei Königreiche dann noch nie äh, gehört. Und plötzlich taucht es in sehr vielen Manga, die ich lese, in Anime, gut, schaue ich nie so viel, aber auch auf. Und bin ich echt in der Versuchung, wenn das gut sein soll, das zu lesen. Ist es denn gut, wisst ihr das? Egal, ich lese es einfach mal. 
Ah, I never read it, but I know of it. They use it a lot as a motive in anime, right? Right, the general general Ken U from those anime are based on the Kentai venerated here. General Ken U, give ich mal ein. Also erstmal hier. Okay, dann sehen wir, wo wir hier sind. Da sind wir genau da los im Tipp in der Tasche. General Khan U. Bede. Ach so, ja, genau. Okay, cool. Um, right, the general Kanu from this anime are based on the Kanta venerated here. Right, but my image of Kanu is totally as a girl. Ah, yeah, that's what we gerade gesehen haben, deswegen bin ich gerade verwirrt. That tells me a lot about your anime viewing habits. Ach, is this. Is this. Äh, uh, hier. Ah ja, Uchu Kanu Ikitosen. Ach, und der Hauptcharakter schaut also Ikitosen. Oder Dragon Girls. Ähm, ja. Hier sehen wir die Fakten. Wenn wir die noch sehen. Ja, das ist ein Anime. Ne, sehr stark. Ähm, ich sag mal so, die kämpfen. Und während die kämpfen, soweit ich gehört habe, Verlieren ihn dann ein paar Tags. Ah, Tagstil. Tag, 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 Tag that tells me a lot about your anime viewing habits. <laughs> By the way, that building only dates back to the 40s, but the site itself is over 150 years old. In other words, Kan U has been protecting this area for 150 years. So he's like a protective spirit. That's right. As long as we're here, would you like to pay tribute? Sure. Right. Okay, machen wir. Yeah. This area really feels like a total Chinatown. So many Chinese restaurants, see? And all these odd little shops up and down the street. I see. Hey, look at that one. It's full of cute little trinkets. It is. I've never seen anything like these. They are amazing. Aren't they? That's what I said, but there are really lots of Chinatowns all over the world. Even my town has reasonable Chinese restaurants. I mean, it's not that I hate Chinatowns or I'm bored or anything, it's just... I'm just... I'm really worried about Akira. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to her for explaining it all to me. But she really does seem less energetic than normal. She's not smiling or getting mad at me like she usually does. I really feel like she's forcing it. Ah, hey, what's that? The delicious smell wafting through the air. Hmm. Want to eat Akira? It will be my treat. Uh, Akira? Uh, hey Akira! Huh? Don't say huh. Did you hear what I said? Huh? Oh yeah, of course I heard it. Um, where was I? You were talking about all the shops in the Chinatown. Ah, you're right, yeah. I was talking about the number of shops. Um, yeah, I know all about that. Oh, um, I think Akira is definitely... That's it, there are over 600 stores in Chinatown and almost 250 of those are Chinese restaurants. There are so many, I bet it's hard to decide which one to pick. Ah, speaking of food, I think I'm getting a little hungry. Hey, it's about that time, let's get something to... Akira. What, you're not hungry at all? It's not just that, just maybe it's time we went home? Huh? What? You're not having fun? That's not it, it's not that at all, just... just what? I really think you're sta starting to get sick, Akira. It would be best if we head back home. Hmm. Right, there's no point in pushing yourself so much you get sick. I said I'm fine. Huh? I told you I'm just fine. But don't butt me. If I said I'm fine, I'm fine, Akira. By that logic, if you're bored, just say that you're bored. If so, I'll... If I, I, I'm not, that's not it. That's not it, sort of. Can I really say that I would have preferred that we went somewhere else, even just a little? Or maybe what I'm thinking is, if we'd gone somewhere else, I could have seen more of Akira's expressions. I... Yeah, you didn't say anything, so that means you're bored. No, 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 that's, that's not it. That's not it at all, just... Just... I get it. Huh? Get what? You want to go home? Then fine, go home. No, no, I, I didn't say I wanted to go home.
Uh, okay, moment. Yeah, then, like you said, I'm not feeling well. So I'll go home. Is that what you want? It's not like that at all. And once I'm gone, you can do whatever you please. I'll go home just like you want, so... Whatever I please, by myself? Well, you think I'm boring, don't you? Then I'll stop wasting your time. It's your last day and you want to go somewhere more fun, don't you? So I'm going. Uh, Akira. Uh, wait, 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 Akira. Und mit diesem spannenden Cliffhanger, der spannend ist, verabschiede ich mich jetzt und wir sehen uns vielleicht bei der letzten, vielleicht bei der vorletzten, wer weiß das schon, Folge von Gogo Nippon, der 2015 Version. Ich hoffe, ihr seid auch gespannt, wie ich jetzt gerade. Und äh, ciao. <lacht> Gut, ich weiß zwar schon, was passiert, aber hey, vielleicht ist was anderes. Ciao.